Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the GPU Technology Conference in San Jose, and today we're at the Mellanox booth with Scott Schultz. How are you doing this afternoon? Hey, I'm great. Thanks for stopping by, Rich. Well, Appreciate I, I, it. I, I think I might know why you're great. I've been hearing some things about RDMA for distributed AI computing. What's this about? You know, it, it really is. It's a hot topic. So distributed machine learning and deep learning is, is really the hot topic of the year, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we've had plenty of uh, traffic, people stopping by, talking about the new uh, DGX box and how Mellanox plays a role there. And then, and, 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 and of course, how RDMA is being driven into all of the major key frameworks, such as TensorFlow and CAFE, and Paddle Paddle, and the Microsoft frameworks, right? Um, so today they're taking advantage of RDMA and uh, uh, taking advantage of all of the Mellanox capabilities for very ultra low latency, high bandwidth throughput that everyone um, you know is expected in the high performance computing space. So, uh, okay. okay. So you know, to me, this this machine learning has been interesting, but it's been hard to scale beyond one box. Is that the nut you're going to crack with this technology? A absolutely. That's yeah. Yeah. spot on to what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we, we, we have technology capabilities today of being able to do uh, um, uh, data aggregation type protocols. It's called SHARP uh, with our EDR technology today. It's really focused on smaller messages. But the quantum switch, which comes uh, a GA here later this year, everyone's really excited about because now we're able to actually do uh, data aggregation reduction type protocols uh, from the network right uh, over the quantum switch that handle very very large messages like well, uh, well out into the into mega, megabytes and gigabytes of uh, message sizes oh, okay, right so, so not like MPI with these tiny little messages this could be big data moving around yeah, yeah lar mostly mostly with the big data and, and especially machine learning right you're moving very 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 large blocks of data mm -hmm. And so quantum is very specifically designed to handle this, uh, this particular uh, aspect of the, of the deep learning um, uh, you know, puzzle that we're trying to solve here. Um, so ideally, right, uh, it'll also replace what's known as a parameter server that sits kind of at the, at the top, if you will, right? So we could take a, a model and kind of uh, do a model replica across nodes and then, you know, um, as they're processing through their, their training, um, they give the parameter server uh, their updated uh, information of the gradient, right? And then that parameter server broadcasts back down. Um, and so, so basically, this is a, it's a hardware-based model of, of uh, the Mellanox solution that's actually done today. Quantum will actually effectively replace that parameter server that, that, uh, right, that's there mm -hmm. um, and be able to give you split kind of instantaneous uh, updating of the, of the parameters across replica nodes. So, you know, today uh, the parameter server doesn't scale beyond even four nodes before it completely chokes and it becomes a bottleneck over TCP. Um, so by taking advantage of RDMA, and then later this year, with the quantum, you get to take uh, further advantage of the sharp capabilities from the from the smart intelligent inter interconnect. Uh, the, from Mellanox is going to give uh, it's going to open the door to how how we think about scalable AI uh, for the future. That's exciting because we're hearing about Azure and Google and room full of these racks doing machine learning. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, this is going to enable that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, today's announcements as well. Uh, Jensen did uh, talking about Volta yeah. and the new DGX based boxes that are based on Volta. Um, you know, this is the type of processing capabilities that are definitely needed for uh, for HDR 200 gigabits a second, and it's, it's definitely the ideal uh, box solution to be able to stuff again four of of the Mellanox adapters to be able to pump not just 100 gigabits a second, but you know, eventually. Uh, and today they use four. So today we're piping in 400 gigabits a second, and and towards the end of the year, we move to 200 gigabits a second. And so now. You know, it's it's really not a concern anymore as to how am I going to solve it or can I solve this problem in, in a reasonable amount of time, right, that I need to bring something to market. We have enough bandwidth from the network for all of the ingest needs that you need to get the data to the GPUs to start doing the compute. Mm -hmm. But as well now we've we've got all of the, the, the semantics within the software and the key frameworks to be able to take advantage of all of the ultra low latency characteristics of, of HPC computing, right. right? Bringing the best of both worlds and being able to solve these next generation uh, you know, issues that, uh, that AI and machine learning is trying to solve.